Hey loves, it's Taylor from Taylor Made TV and I'm so glad that you're back. And in this episode, we're gonna be talking about how to stay motivated in a crisis. How do you stay motivated to create in a crisis? I don't know about you, but it's been pretty hard to create, make things, it's been hard to get up. <laughs> like from sleeping all day, um, especially with everything that's going on right now. So I really hope this video inspires you and encourage you to get up, to get moving despite um, everything that's going on, despite your circumstance because there are people out there in the world that really need what it is that you create there they need what you have okay so so I really really hope you're motivated by this video to get moving to get going and to create uh, despite the crisis that's happening so here we go All right, so my tip number one is to know your why. Whenever you know your why, whenever you understand what you're called to do, who you're called to be, what you're called to create, you're able to have a little bit of focus and, and really kind of zone in on that thing that you're called to do. Whenever you have clarity on your purpose and your passions and the plan that God has set out for you, you pretty much kind of let that passion fuel you despite what's going on around you to create, to then, uh, make things and produce and to write whatever it is that God has called you to do you kind of keep your why before you your why could then be your family it could be your children I know for me now that I have twins I'm a mom now my uh, kids have definitely been um, a driving force um, in this season of my life to continue building and creating for not just them, but even for people who need what it is that I have to say. Whatever your why is, I think that whenever you kind of zone in and find clarity on your why, your purpose, the reasoning for your being, the, your reasoning for uh, why you're here um, on this earth to create, whenever you know what that is, you're, you're pretty much able to be consistent and to be um, even more passionate about what it is that you're doing. And you'll, you'll pretty much stay motivated to do uh, what it is that God has called you to do. And you'll pretty much be able to create all the more <laughs> um, uh, what God has called you to create. So that is tip number one. All right, guys, so here is tip number two. Tip number two is listen to something motivating. The Bible says that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so whenever you're listening to something that's faith building, that's motivating, that's empowering, that's encouraging, you feel all the more motivated to get up and to do something and to get up and to create and make things and produce. Um, and whenever you're listening to something toxic or to something negative or to something that weighs you down or causes you to be just depressed or anxious you're you're pretty much not going to feel motivated to do anything at all you might just be motivated to stay in the bed i know there's so much going on right now in the news and there's just a lot of just things that are quite depressing to listen to so if you're constantly on social media if you're constantly um letting into your ear gates a lot of news that's negative that's depressing that's um causing you to be anxious you're not going to be motivated to create something good and to bring that good into the world around you. I know sometimes in the morning um, when I'm waking up, of course, I, I pray and I read my word, but I also listen to something that's motivating. Sometimes I listen to Terry Seville for us. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes I listen to Terry Savelle Foy, Steve Harvey, and a plethora of other people. Um, so I would encourage you to find those people who really inspire you, who uh, really um, speak life, who can speak life into your day, who can speak life um, to your atmosphere around you um, to pretty much motivate, motivate you and get you pumped to uh, start your day and to get things going. Another thing when it comes to listening to something that's motivating, um, in the Bible, David actually encouraged himself. And so a lot of times you have to speak life to yourself. You have to speak life over yourself throughout the day um, so that you can be motivated. And so I would encourage you to listen to yourself. <laughs> listen to yourself, self speak a, a faith building, positive words of affirmation, declarations, um, really 
really speak the word of God over you so that you can be motivated to get up. But if you're constantly speaking words that that tear you down, um, if you're constantly saying, oh, I can't do this, or I don't feel like doing that, you're always going to not feel like doing anything at all. And so something that I've always said is that your mind listens to what your mouth says. And so whenever you're speaking words that are negative, whenever you're speaking things that uh, really aren't motivating, your mind is going to go there. And so therefore your body and everything around you is not going to move. And so be mindful of what it is that you're saying. Saying, be mindful of what is what it is that you're letting into your ear gates not only your ear gates but your eye gates um, and so guard those things guard those things around you guard what it is that you're listening to so that you cultivate an atmosphere of creativity through motivational words and empowering words and faith building words here's tip number three Tip number three is to make your vision and goals visible. You won't believe or be motivated to do something that you just absolutely cannot see. And so I would encourage you to write your vision on the walls as the word says. It's kind of like this. You literally can't work towards something if you cannot see it. And so if it's placed around you in areas that you go the most or that you visit the most, whether it be your office, whether it be your kitchen uh, refrigerator, whether it be your bathroom mirror, write your vision down and make it plain. That's literally what that means. When you, whenever you make something plain, it's something that you can see. It's something that is clear. And so when your your vision isn't clear and isn't plain before you, you won't be motivated to do it. You won't be you won't be motivated to 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 go after those goals. You won't be motivated to write that book. You won't be able to start that business or start that podcast cast or start that nonprofit organization and so that is tip number three all right love so I am now at tip number four and tip number four is simply to get active whenever you begin to move things around you begin to move when your body is not moving things are not going to move and so I would encourage you to get active get moving get your adrenaline going so that you can feel more motivated and more pumped to move a lot of times um, whenever anybody hears anything about work Working out, a lot of people get super intimidated and kind of build up this anxiety, especially when it's talking about working out. But I kind of switched my language and I utilized the uh, the words getting active. Whenever you get active, I feel like whenever anybody say get active, it to me at least it makes me feel more motivated to move. Because whenever I think about working out, I'm like I don't want to work out. <laughs> But getting active is simply just moving your body. It could be simply walking walking outside to your mailbox. It could be simply you waking up an hour early to just get up and do a couple of stretches. Things won't move if you're standing still. So I would encourage you to get up, get moving, go for a walk, go for a jog, uh, exercise, do whatever it is that you need to do and get moving so that your situation can move. I would also encourage you to dance. Sometimes, like, okay, Okay, so for some of you who don't know, I absolutely love to dance. And I feel like dancing really gets me inspired for some reason. When I put on one of my favorite songs, I just literally get excited. I get pumped up. I get motivated to, to work and to, to build and to create. And so I would encourage you to find your favorite playlist. Find something that really will get your body moving, get your body pumping. And that could also be a form of exercise as well. And so when you get the blood pumping and flowing like my mom says, <laughs> you will begin to see um, a, a shift in yourself and in your um, expression and motivation. So that's tip number four. So here's tip number five, and it is to change your scenery. Sometimes I feel like I need to add some flowers, or <laughs> I don't know, add a journal or something like that into my atmosphere, into my space to switch things up a bit. And so I would encourage you to redecorate your office, add some texture, add some color, add some vibrancy, open up the window um, to let the light in, um, even see things from a different perspective. Maybe not sit on your chair or try sitting on the floor. I feel like sometimes when you're sitting from a different angle, you'll feel a little bit of inspiration even with that. Um, I know Sometimes I like to sit by the fireplace and bring all of my uh, my work and my 
laptop and even my bible sometimes and i would read and um i would get a lot a lot of her inspiration just by laying on my tummy sitting on the floor with the blanket with a nice glass of water and just creating and enjoying myself and really um seeing things from a different angle and from a different perspective and so try that you could even try lighting a candle i feel like for me whenever i light a nice i love candles <laughs> when i light a nice candle up the scent and the aroma from the candle it really makes me super inspired and um i don't know just looking at the flickering of the candle also just kind of gives me a different bit of inspiration as well and so so being able to look at something that's visually appealing or even that is um, that that kind of plays on different senses there's no limitation on where you know where your workspace can be okay if you feel like you're getting a little bored and your back is hurting and if you feel find yourself getting getting a little bit distracted in your office space or just sitting in one one spot for a long period of time I would definitely recommend that you move a little bit that you maybe go to the work at the kitchen table or work in the living room or or work on the patio outside just change the scenery up a little bit so that you can look at some different things that you may not necessarily get bored at because you hadn't hadn't looked at it before change your scenery change things up a little bit transform your space so that you can transform your mind and thus be able to transform your creativity so that is tip number five here is tip number six and it is get dressed I know some of you probably have heard of the saying, dress for success. If you wanna see success when it comes to creativity, when it comes to being motivated to create or motivated to work or to build or make or produce whatever it is that you're doing right now, you wanna be dressed for success. You wanna position yourself and posture yourself in such a way that you'll feel motivated to actually create. I want you to write this down. Your wardrobe influences your workflow. Okay? And so whatever it is that you're wearing will impact your workflow or your work ethic, okay? And so whenever you're wearing pajamas all day, your pajamas are pretty much gonna influence you to sleep. <laughs> because you're wearing pajamas, you're wearing night clothes. And so whatever it is that you're wearing, it's going to influence your workflow. But whenever you wear casual day clothes, it'll influence you to be awake and aware and kind of be a, a ready to, to work and ready to create. And so don't wear your pajamas all day. I know, you know, we're all in the house and it's like, why am I going to waste some clothes, you know, just to sit here and work all day and not go anywhere. But if you really want to be successful and not fall into the trap of uh, being inconsistent get up get dressed put something on even put a little bit of makeup on or wear your favorite shoes or wear your favorite socks that inspire you or wear some earrings put on some lip gloss you may not necessarily have to put on a full face of makeup but wear something that inspires you that makes you feel good about yourself um, that makes you feel that, that boosts your self-esteem because when your self-esteem is boosted when you feel beautiful when you feel confident you'll feel even more confident to create and so get dressed get up get moving so that you can stay awake to create all right love so here is tip number seven and it is what you believe about yourself will influence your behavior if you're constantly saying well i don't feel like doing this or i can't do that you're never going to do anything you're never going to feel like doing anything i want to encourage you and let you know that you're not always going to be inspired to create you're not always going to be so motivated and just have this super surge and super charge of inspiration to create. That's why I always say that feelings are visitors. They literally come and go. So don't let your feelings control your future. Don't let your feelings control your day, okay? Feel the feelings and just kind of let them go, okay? Because they're not there to help you out. They're there to drag you down. Not to say that they're not realistic, not to say that they're not real. So your behavior reveals who you believe that you are. So if you feel like you're a failure right now, if you feel like you have nothing to offer, if you feel like you have no value, if you feel like you're a disappointment, if you feel like there's nothing left for you to do in life, well, you're not gonna do anything. You're not gonna feel motivated at all to create. And so I want you to just in this time, as we have so much time, <laughs> I want you to rediscover who you are. 
I want you to rediscover that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I want you to rediscover that you are good. Listen, you won't be motivated to do anything if you believe that because your circumstances isn't good, that you aren't good. Just because your situation isn't good doesn't mean that what you have to offer isn't good. I want you to know that your circumstance does not dictate who you are. You are amazing. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And so during this time, I want you to increase your belief meter. I want you to increase your faith meter and really begin to dig deep into who God says that you are in this season. Because you will never begin, you will never feel motivated if you feel like you're a mess. Don't let your situation dictate what you have the potential to be and to become and to create in this season because there's a lot of people that need what you have and so i want to encourage you to start speaking life over yourself just kind of even going back to the tip number one speak life over yourself and begin to believe what it is that god says about you so that your behavior can change and thus your reality can change and as a result you'll be able to create all right guys so here's tip number eight tip number eight is to set the atmosphere the atmosphere that you create around you will then influence your creativity. It'll influence whether or not you feel like doing anything at all. Um, the Bible says that the enemy is the prince of the air. And so if you're feeling afraid right now, if you're feeling um, depressed right now, if you're feeling anxiety um, because of what, because of everything that is going on, um, I want to let you know that that is because the atmosphere of your home and even the atmosphere of your mind has been clouded by the enemy. The enemy literally comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And so he will use anything, anything. He will use that fear, that anxiety, that depression, that worry, all those different things to hinder your creativity, to prohibit you from building and from, from delivering the value that God has called you to deliver to the world even right now. And so I want you to begin to cover your atmosphere with prayer, with prayer, cover your atmosphere with life building words, with faith building words. And even so, I want you to clean your space as well, clean your atmosphere. And so whenever you have a clear space, Face, you will have a clear mind. You cannot create in chaos. And so there's chaos around you, not just spiritually, um, but physical, physical chaos around you. If there's physical chaos around you, you won't feel motivated to create because you'll be stepping on clothes all day or you'll, you'll, you'll be distracted by the pile of uh, dishes that's in the dish uh, that's in the sink and so clean your space clear your space so that your atmosphere could also shift and be clean as well another thing that i would encourage you to do to set the atmosphere around you is to be careful of the company that you keep i want you to write this down the company that you seek will determine the opportunities that you seize and so if there's people around you that are speaking death that are speaking negative words around you that are just kind of like debbie down you don't want those people around you. You want people to, to really motivate you and get you pumping and to get you get you moving so that you can be everything that God has called you to be. And so evaluate the people that you have in your circle. Evaluate the people that are speaking into your life. Evaluate the people that are speaking into your atmosphere. Evaluate those that you are letting into your space. Um, even when you're trying to create, you never want somebody around you, especially if you're like sharing a dream with them and they just say, oh, well, no, don't do that. Or no, that, that I don't think you should do that because of X, Y, Z. Um, now, don't get me wrong. Healthy, constructive criticism is definitely like you. That it's definitely necessary and it's needed. What's unnecessary are those people who give destructive cr criticism. And I'm sure you probably know what I'm talking about. And so I want you to take this time to really uh, evaluate and assess your surroundings. Assess who's around you, what's around around you what's in your atmosphere is the enemy crowding your atmosphere with negative things with negative words what is he oppressing you and weighing you down prohibiting you from being motivated to create and so saturate your atmosphere with prayer speak the word of god and really begin to assess the people that are around you if you really enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would love to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. I love you so, so much. I can't wait to see everything that you're going to create. And until next time, thank you for watching Taylor May TV. <laughs>